hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the spot lightings in photoshop so let's see what is that uh, the before image normal and after spotting that you are getting like this so how to do that let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so in a home menu I have that stock image i downloaded this one pixels.com ctrl or command j for the new copy of this layer and go to the filter and the render from here you'll get the spotlights effect here so in this panel or in this portion you'll get the spotlighting like this here two or three portion i'm using the spot this portion so from here if i go to the point option it will be like this and infinite options it will be like this so you can control the infinite lights by using here so where will be the light source it will define with that okay you can do that so in this tutorial i'll use the spot lightings and it will be like this and make it bigger like that and here here is the color or intensity the light color is the yellow and here is the area scale width so make this okay and the gloss if you change it out it will get the result like that and the ambient will be like that so and it could be bigger here as well okay and hit the okay button you're getting before and after before and after so after that go to the filter and camera filter from here you can change up all the setups like that here the temperature a little bit warm like that and the tint plus or minus two plus one plus two is good for this exposure a little bit down and the contrast a little bit up plus two highlights a little bit up plus 12 and shadow up the whites i'll make it up and the blacks that is up texture texture i'll make it plus three clarity plus four the dehaze plus two and uh, vibrance and saturation that's good and uh, i won't touch the tone curve the sharpening or detailing portion i'll add some sharpening and luminance for the noise reduction and the hue saturation luminance from here all is good but uh, i will change the hue of the red a little bit like this that's fine split toning ha shadow color and the highlight color here you are getting the highlight color you if you need you can change out that the highlight color will be 69 value for the hue and the saturation 8 and the shadow color will be like that that's fine and from here the effects are you know, two things grain and vignetting i won't touch that the calibration i won't touch that so before after and hit the ok button okay here before and after after that go to the filter again and nick collection and color effects proof for from here you'll get the lots of filters i'm using here the cross processing from here uh, you can use another one you can try it out and lots of method over here which one is perfect for your photography in this photo i'll use l03 and like this and hit ok it's taking time to load it up and provide you the final output okay fine let's see before image was like that and after adding the spotlighting you are getting like that and all the steps is i just given the way how to do that so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment in my video comment section
until the next video i am isimarif signing out today bye bye